where we are today. Aviva is falling short of the competition online. We have some good websites and are growing our mobile activity, but this is being overshadowed by slow service, a disjointed customer experience, and a clunky back end, so we are far from being the best we can be. Customers are experiencing errors when getting a quote, renewing or making payments. This is further compounded when they're redirected to our instant messaging live chat service because our agents can't always cope with the volume of inquiries. We're encouraging users to self-serve online and automatically set them up with a login. Unfortunately, if a customer has multiple products, they end up with multiple logins. This leads to confusion and adds to a poor user experience. It also means we're missing a trick when it comes to cross and upselling. Because our service is inconsistent and online support is only available on a small selection of our products, we are making it difficult for customers to interact with us. We need to solve all these issues. Option A. Getting the basics right. We have tackled the essentials and brought ourselves in line with the market. We're exploiting what we already do well and the first major improvement is the customer journey, which is far easier and has less errors. We've consolidated all our customer data and multiple logins so the customer can now view all of their products in one place. It makes life far easier and gives us the opportunity to tell them about the rest of the products we offer. Our processes on and offline are more closely integrated. Instant messaging, live chat and click to call are now available across the majority of our products and we are delivering a better customer service. Also, customers, brokers and IFAs can easily download eDocs for 90% of our life and general insurance policies. More products have launched online, including direct travel and broker products, creating a much wider choice. Our marketing teams are now able to update basic site information, keeping content more up to date. We still have long cycle times to make changes across the transactional pages, and hopefully we'll solve that next year. Our sites have been improved and most now are on mobile with an iPad app in development. We are committed to innovation with new widgets and tools to make customer experience even better, though there is still room for improvement. We are still not quite up to the level of the leading competitors and have much to do to make the fullest use of digital, but we are now getting the basics right. Option B. Market enabling. We are taking big steps to be amongst the top competitors in the market, constantly developing new ideas through our innovation lab and finding new ways to improve our digital offerings. For example, Jonathan, a 19-year-old customer, has just bought his first car and is using Aviva and RAC's mobile apps. These give him access to traffic reports, accident management and our Rescue Me services. Very reassuring on his first long journey from York to Cornwall. From our point of view, things have also improved. We now have a single content management system which has given us greater efficiencies and reduced technical development time. With our automated e-business dashboard in place, we are making good use of the data we are gathering to create richer and further refined customer experiences. Combined with configurable user journeys, we can react to customer behavior as well as recognizing and solving problems early on. This has really helped to increase conversion and sales. Those looking for impartial advice can visit the Aviva Knowledge Hub, which helps demystify our financial products without fear of a hard sell at the end of it. The content can be tailored to the customer's needs, and it's so useful that people are recommending it to their friends.
On the broker side, we've made it easier to self-serve and made it easier for them to do business with their customers. There are more products online. Making changes to a policy is a cinch. If a customer wants to maintain their own products, they can do that too, making life easier for everyone. In summary, we're still not quite up with the market leaders, but we are really moving on and are progressing well. Option C. Market leading. Our approach to innovation has enabled us to separate Aviva from our competitors and offer our customers richer experiences. We have intelligent, real-time systems that use geographical targeting. In this way, we can offer tailored user journeys, relevancy and personalization. The whole front end of our sites can now be configured without specialized IT knowledge, allowing operations and marketing to personalize the content to suit customer needs. All of our relevant products and services are now available to buy online. Customers are free to self-serve or interact with call center staff as they wish on their terms. Our automated business process management system makes the call center process agile and adaptable. This means we can seamlessly switch channels across media, including video conferencing, to interact with our customers in new, enhanced ways. Take 33-year-old Josh from Salford, for example. He's logged into his online account so he can renew his car insurance. As a promotion, we could offer him breakdown cover at a rate exclusive to him. If he is interested, he can simply add it to his policy with a click. If he has any questions, he can ask us face-to-face -face or online. It's entirely up to him. In short, customer experiences are now personalized and fully integrated. We are leading the market and our customers recognize this. Combined with our outstanding customer service, we have seen sales and retention increase and satisfaction levels rise. Customers, existing and new, are recommending us based on their great experiences. Now, it's our competitors' turn to play catch-up.